Hey, hey, what's up everyone? This is Gary from the PhotographyExpress.com and today I want to show you how to create a Pinterest infographic under five minutes. So for those of you who is not familiar with the term infographic, it basically just means a picture with words on it. So if you're looking at my uh, Pinterest board right now, this is a an infographic. So a picture with wording on it. Same here, picture with wording on it. So uh, let me show you how to create an infographic for yourself. There are basically two things you will need. First, a website that you can find royalty-free images. Uh, for myself, I like to use compfight.com. And secondly, you need to find a website that you can make photo editing. So uh, for my personal opinion, I like to use pigmonkey.com. So let's start off with searching for the photo first. So we will go to compfight.com and say for my blog, for my next post, I like to talk about macro photography. I'm going to type in a keyword here, macro photography. And once I hit enter, these are all the pictures that I can use. Um, but just as a, a note, anything above the line right here, you need to pay in order to use the image, but everything below that, you can use the image for free. So uh, just say I like to use this image right here. The first thing that you should do is check on the license. If you click on this link right here, you should make sure you can share it and also you can make adaptations on it. Because for Pinterest, you're going to resize the image as well as adding wording on it. So you need to make sure you can make adaptations on it. So once you're good with the license, you should Download this picture in the original size so you can get the best megapixel and then you can upload it to pigmonkey.com which is our next step. So to upload the picture, you go to edit and then you can upload this picture uh, right here. So once you have the image uploaded, go to resize. For pinches, the best size that you should use is 736 by 1128. So I'm going to uncheck the key proportions and then I'm going to type in 736 by 1128 and I'm going to click apply. So now your image is basically good to go for Pinterest purposes. But if you want to do an infographic, you should click on this overlays button and then um, you can choose whatever you want. But for myself, I like to use geometric and then I'm going to drag this to around the middle section of uh, of this picture and then I'm going to make color 1 which is the border to be transparent and then color 2 to, to be white and then I'm going to fade this to around 50% so once you're done with this you should go to this edit text icon the, the big T with the little T and you're going to choose a font that you like to use. So for myself, say I like to use uh, the impact font. I'm going to add text and then I'm going to resize this properly. And then I'm going to type in my wordings. So macro photography. And you can make adjustment to the size of the uh, image or the words, I should say. And then basically you're good to go. So macro photography, you have the picture, you have a good background. So as soon as you hit save, save it to your computer, then you can upload it to Pinterest. So this is what I would like to show you today. I hope you enjoyed this video. You can check the show notes at www.thephotographyexpress.com. So uh, I'll see you next time. Cheers.